Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about what it means to be a good friend because we all want to be a good friend. We want to have good friends around us and not everybody is going to be a good friend or a good fit for us. So let's think about good friends. What does that mean? A good friend is somebody that we can trust. It's somebody that we enjoy being around. We enjoy the same type of things. We can count on them. They remember important events like birthdays and anniversaries or special memories. They like to spend time with us and when we're in trouble, they help us out. If we're sad, they can cheer us up. When we're angry, they might know how to make us feel better and they keep in touch with us. Whether it's through technology like text message or email or maybe Facebook or Instagram, you talk to them, calling up on the phone. Maybe our best friend, somebody we see in program every day. We want to make sure that we have and we're surrounded by people that make up these qualities like a good friend. So let's think about ways that we can find good friends, right? I mean, you don't can't just walk up to somebody and imagine that you maybe are going to be best friends. What are things that we should look at? We should look at um, things that we like to do. You know, if you like to play football, maybe you want to find somebody who enjoys football or playing football as well. If you enjoy maybe arts and crafts, maybe you find a friend that is really artistic as well and enjoys doing the same things that you, you enjoy. They have to have similar, they don't have to have similar hobbies. You can enjoy different things and learn new things with them too. That's the great thing about friends. We can learn from each other. I wanna go over just a few scenarios on, um, you know, being a good friend. Somebody who is there whenever we need them. That's a good friend. They share their feelings with us. Good friend. They maybe let me know when I'm making a poor choice. Good friend. They try not to hurt my feelings. Good friend. If they do hurt my feelings, they apologize. That's a good friend. They try to help me feel better when I'm anxious, sad, or upset. I'd say so. They care about the things that I'm interested in. Like I just said football, arts and crafts, enjoy going for walks or exercising. Maybe you enjoy reading books that you can talk about or building puzzles together. They're honest with me and I can trust them. They support me when I make good choices. They respect my opinions. They give me compliments. They share and take turns with things when we're doing things together. They stand up for me all the time. They encourage me even when I make mistakes. Um, and they listen to me when I talk about things. No, this is a great one to think about because we've talked about active listening before, right? When somebody's talking to you, you're making eye contact with them. You're nodding your head. You're showing them that you're really listening. And then when they're done talking, you maybe ask questions or tell them, I understand how you're feeling because, right? We only talked about sympathy and empathy before, you know, really being empathetic to a person and their um, ideas or understanding their feelings. Um, so they say things to make uh, me laugh or feel happy, right? I mean, who wants to be friends with a person who is always cranky and miserable, right? You want to have fun with your friends. They say nice things about when you about you when you're not around. Definitely a good friend, and they reach out to me whenever they need my help. Yeah. I think that if you have a friend that you would check off for all of these, I would say that's a really, really good friend. We gave you this worksheet today so you can um, kind of go through that and remember all those things. We also give you a worksheet about, you know, what makes you a good friend? What are the qualities? Are you kind and caring? Are you a great listener? Maybe you can write down things you need to work on, you know? Um, maybe um, actively listening is something that you're not so great at asking questions or remembering birthdays or memories. This is something that I'm not great at. And so I have to use a calendar to make sure I write down so I, I can remember to send my friends a message on, on their birthdays and say, hey, happy birthday. Makes them smile. It's not one of the things that come easy to me, but we can just use technology. You can use your phones, you can write it down. So write down things that make you a good friend. You can also about think, um, think about things that interest you so that you can go out and you can search for new friends. And like I said, we can always um, learn new things. So even if, you know, somebody had said to you, 
you started talking to them and they said, oh, I really enjoy sports. And you were like, hmm, I'm not really into sports. Maybe you'll continue to talk. And then you realize that like, maybe you both are history buffs and love to talk about history. So even if you don't enjoy all of the same things, you might find something in common and might have a really great time and learn something new. So we gave you a bunch of activities that you can do. But what we want you to remember today is no matter how good of a friend you are, there's always probably going to be some conflict that comes around with a friendship. So now we have to remember all of our friendship, our conflict resolution um, that we do, that we've practiced. Walking away from a situation, not responding when we're mad or angry, taking time to calm our bodies, think of the other person, think about their feelings, think about um, what happened, where they're coming from. And then going and responding. And if we're really good friends and we can think about all those things, you guys can get through each conflict and continue on with your friendship and being a good friend. So remember, be a trustworthy person. Be a great listener. Um, remember important things. Enjoy spending time. Make them happy. Be there for them when they need them. That's how you're going to be a good friend. You guys have all showed us that you're great friends on Zoom every day. Um, we love to see you. We all love all the things that you do. I know you remember tomorrow's my birthday. So, you know, you guys have been reminding me all week about that. So it makes me you know, realize that you are my good friends. You're paying attention to the things that I've said in the past. Um, so we'll see you guys later on on Zoom. We have our 10 o'clock and our 1 o'clock. Let's go on and be some great friends together. All right. Bye.